Okay, I'm going to do a um, compression check and uh, release spark plugs. This is Daz 1951 Mercury, and this is a Ford Flathead 255 cubic inch. They don't look uh, totally terrible, but they are wet and a little bit carbon, of course. Um, I did just put this carburetor on, and it's not fully set up, so I might have a uh, kind of a rich mode right now. These plugs are champions, which most people say are complete garbage these days. The ones I'm replacing with are NGK. Looks very similar to the other side. There is some very fine uh, deposit on the thing. Don't smell too bad. But I have a feeling that the carburetor does need uh, some finer adjustment. Got the compression gauge here. And also, uh, good old Eric the car guy uh, showed us all how to make a hose clamp here. Stop gas from going in. Okay. Okay, I made sure it was in neutral and uh, also made sure that the ignition was not on. I have a button here on the um, ignition solenoid which will spin it, which is pretty handy for this kind of thing. And we'll be watching that. Call that one thirty. So what we have is pretty consistent, 140 being the highest, about 125, or 120 being the, uh, being the lowest. Um, but essentially across the spread, that's not too bad. I'll work out the exact uh, ratio. You kind of want it between 5 and 10% of each other, but uh, pretty happy with that. I was worried I would see one or two that were way low. Not because I had any indication of that, but just <coughs> don't really know the origin or the maintenance of the engine. I see a lot of old leaks and stuff around some of these uh, spark plug holes. 
They look to be pretty old with some of the paints flaking off and whatnot, so it looks like this car's had some leaks at some point. I do still have a leaking uh, water neck here, so I'm going to pick up a new one of those, two, two new ones of those. And uh, that'll stop that from, uh, it's just seeping. But I think I'm going to put the old plugs back in because until I do the carburetor adjustment, I want to see what effect that has on brand new plugs as opposed to ones that are already fouled. So. Okay, just to make sure things are okay, I'm going to uh, start briefly. That's it for now. Um, I'm pretty happy with those results. Do the um, carburetor adjustment and then uh, replace spark plugs. A bunch of other stuff to do here, and then um, and I'll check the new plugs and see what uh, see what kind of condition. Thanks for watching.